Welcome everybody, this is Crumpet here, and today we are a villager. So, you might he here, hold on. You might be hearing all these funny noises, and I'm just going to turn that completely off for just a second so we can talk without getting distracted, because these noises are hilarious. So, anyways, it's April Fool's Day, and, uh, oh hey, here, let's turn mob noises back on. There, that, uh, a little higher. Click, 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 click. Uh, say something. Rah. Hey, buddy, where are you going? So, yeah, there's some pretty crazy mob noises and stuff going on. Like when I put that dirt down to dig. You listen to the chest, I like this one. Open. Open. Close. Yeah, let's turn that one up a little bit. Click. Click. Blocks. Yeah, it's, I think that's the right one. Open. Close. <laughs> oh, I love it. Hey, guys. Hi. It's a nice day we're having. It is a nice day we're having, except it's not day. It's actually nighttime. So, I think the sheep has something they want to say as well, and I am going to get so distracted by this. Oh, man. Um, oh, wow, that's loud. Hi, Creeper. Here, watch. He has some funny ones, too. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hiss. Why aren't you saying hiss? Come on. No. <laughs> What does the sheep say? <laughs> oh man, this is too much. Um, but it actually gets kind of annoying when you get near the cow farm in my portal. It's actually very, very annoying. Say something. Say something, sheep. <laughs> oh man, this is too much. Uh, Mojang outdid themselves this April Fool's Day. So anyways... I know I said last episode I want to get another episode out pretty quickly since I didn't really do too much. So today is the next day after that. I actually got that out the same day, so hopefully I can do the same with this episode. Oh my god. Alright, that's going way back down. So before we go down any further, um, I remember if you remember last episode, I was saying I've been ignoring aesthetics and I was giving myself the past because I was kind of poor right now and um, I decided that wasn't a good enough excuse so as we have our grand reveal we did nothing in there but we do have this um, and the room's not done yet especially I need to move that portal um, but this is what I have so far this is kind of what I had in mind it was gonna be kind of bluish purple because of the portal, I guess I'm going to leave it on the side right here, but I'm going to push it back a little bit so I can add these frames on the outside. Oh my god, shut up, portal. And that kind of makes it look awkward from this side. So what I'm planning on doing is I'm actually going to take these hallways, and I know it's going to kind of screw up this farm and the cow farm already, but I'm going to push these hallways and make them five wide instead of three wide. And I mean, I have plenty of space to do it in here, so that's not a problem. And I'm going to change this up anyways. I think I have a bit of resources to where I can make this semi-automatic now. So I can go ahead and do that. And, um, and so I, I'm just going to change up this room completely. It's pretty plain. But as you see, uh, we're getting some of the stuff leaking in from the other side. So I'm going to make the wall um, on this one kind of around or pushed back one. So we kind of have a... Meh. I don't know, I'm, I'm explaining this kind of badly. So, I don't have to u incorporate the wall from this side into this farm. I can, I'm can. i just going to have a too thick wall, so I can do decorations on both sides. But I'm not done with this room yet. I want to get more flowers and stuff for the pond area, but I really like how this room turned out. And i got to figure out a little bit more lighting. I completely used up all the glowstone that I had collected on this roof, 
and we'll end that. Um, but it looks really, really, really good in my opinion. I really like how this turned out. There might be one thing I want to change. I might push this entire room up by one block, so and then make the hallways one taller as well. Um, I'm not sure if that's going to affect the floor above it. I'm not even sure what I have on the floor above it, to be quite honest with you. It might be my enchanting table. Um, so I don't think that's that big of a deal. And I think there's plenty of space to be able to do that. And I think that'll make this room look a lot nicer. But anyway, so yeah, I really like how this turned out. And it's kind of funny. For these um, middle sections, I, I can't... I don't like the quartz there. I actually want to get snow. I don't like how it's just bordered like that and completely smooth and I think the snow would have a really nice texture to it and make those walls look real nice so it would definitely help me conserve on quartz too because I'm going to be using a lot of quartz and I'm still pretty broke and I've already uh, almost destroyed my fortune pick so I can't really go out collecting too much. I, I still have a bit left if we go um, back up here back up to my storage I, I got a bit left I went from completely after enchanting all my stuff or well chanting and combining stuff went down to level 0 and I collected enough quartz to get back up to level 35 and after that room this is what I have left plus a little bit of unused blocks and slabs in here um, but yeah so I really like how that room turned out and I'm gonna kinda make this underground base type thing based off of this quartz and dyed clay type theme and not all of them are going to be like bl light blue like this or anything like that the rooms are going to be like they're not really going to be color coded but they're going to have different themes depending on what it was but since the nether portal is already in here and I kind of like the white color I think I'm going to be using a lot of white in here like along with the clay so a lot of quartz when I get some snow I gotta go find snow at some point because I want to conserve on the quartz and I think it might actually look better on these walls so I want to take a look at that but not only do I not have snow I don't have pumpkins either so I'm gonna have to go exploring sometime in the near future because if I use quartz for the walls I'm gonna go broke like bad so that's not an option so, I, yeah, I'm eventually going to replace that quartz, then I'll reuse it in other places, but... Um, ooh, that's loud. We're going to completely turn off friendly creatures. You can hear water, 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 water. Um, but yeah, I still, like, this is the only room I've really done, and I really love how this turned out. Um, and I just kind of... I started, what I did, I started with these corner blocks, I put little pillars down into the water, and just put the circle stones or the chiseled stone blocks right there, and then I was like, I really don't know where I'm going to go from this, and I went and collected a bunch of quartz, got some clay, well, I got some of my clay out of my chest, and just started going, and I... I love how it turned out. I love the ceiling design. I think that looks real cool. I do like these floors. I don't know how I'm going to continue them through the hallways. Um, I might try some sort of transition out of this room, maybe using... Uh, I, I really don't know. I'll, I'll figure something out how to do the hallways, but especially because they're going to be five wide. And I don't, like I said, this is going to be quartz. Like The floor is going to be quartz and stone slabs. I can already see that. I mean, it's just going to make this entire area look so nice, so... Um, if I can keep some sort of cool pattern going on, like, I like how this turned out. So if I can keep that going throughout the entire base, it's going to look spectacular. And f especially for me, not being a very good aesthetic builder, like, this, this room right here, I am pretty proud of. So... Anyways, I started this recording not really knowing exactly what I wanted to do besides I want to do aesthetics in this episode so we're gonna kind of figure something out I might go exploring and try to get the materials to get a snowman um, oh, that's gonna be a problem too yeah I've already listed the first two problems no snow no pumpkins problem number three I'm in a swamp um, so I can't exactly make snow here anyways uh, how far is this birch forest from here? Dig! 
Dig. I don't have a shovel it broke earlier. I think I can do it in the birch forest, and I can also do it in the mesa. So actually, that yeah, this isn't going to be a problem. I'll just make a snow machine or something over there. I don't know. But yeah, so for I think for right now, guys, I'm going to go exploring and see if I can find some snow and see if I can find some pumpkins as well so I can start making uh, some snow blocks so I can kind of conserve on my quartz and I actually think it will look better on the walls just because it's kind of textured, it's not flat, and it doesn't have those borders. So I think it'll look a lot nicer. And I might make a trip to the nether to see if I can find any more glowstone as well. If anything, I might also have to start breeding up more villagers and start trading for it, but anyways, that's not the worst thing in the world. I still got over a stack of emeralds, so that's all my glowstone I have left. If I need to make a potion, I'm kind of screwed. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to do a little bit of resource gathering, and hopefully I can continue with this episode as soon as possible. So I will see you guys in hopefully just a second. You know, it's a pretty wonderful sight when you find exactly what you're looking for in the exact same location. I don't know if you can see that orange over by where my, right above where my cursor is, but there's some pumpkins over there right by that snow. So I have gotten really lucky and I'm gonna head and grab that now and then we'll head oh. back to the base and we're gonna do some decorating. And I grabbed some flowers along the way too, just um, for some extra decorate. Ooh, there's more. Um, but yeah, I'm, I've been picking flowers like a very manly man. I love picking flowers. Probably the manliest thing you could ever do. So, grab those flowers, grab those pumpkins, and I'll head back to the base. I'll see you guys soon. Alright guys, I'm back at my base again. Um, I've gone adventuring and got myself the pumpkins, as you see. Got myself some, some snow, and as you see, more snow in my inventory. I already went ahead and set up an uh, automatic snowman grinder, snow machine, whatever. Um, pretty easy, pretty simple. Just have a snowman in there with a hopper minecart, kind of pushed to the side with another hopper, and they all get collected into this chest, and I've already been running it a little bit. I used up about 10 stone shovels and got myself a bit of clay. Um, so I want to come down here and take a look real fast. I already know for a fact I'm going to be pushing these walls back a little bit to make them five wide areas. So what I need to do, I want to start, I just want to do the inside of this room for now. And I figured since we're already going to go ahead and uh, decorate and design this room and I'm going to want to make an automatic wheat farm eventually, I'm going to also make it automatic at the same time. Or at least semi-automatic. I'm going to make the harvesting system automatic. And it's just going to go into one central loot. I'm not going to do any sort of um, sorting or like get the seeds out and get the wheat out, something like that. At least not yet. I want to wait till I get ice so I could send all the stuff over, maybe either over or under the farm, and then send it into the cow farm. And I don't want to do that just yet either because I designed my cow farm, or I, well, I changed the design of my cow farm, that is. And, uh,. And I have a new one in my creative world that I want to use, and that one, well, I mean, I can leave it like that one. That one works perfectly fine as well. I just like the one that I have in my creative world. But anyway, so like later on, once I get ice and I can transport it from room to room pretty quickly without having to make gigantic streams going downwards or use tons of hoppers, um, I'm going to go ahead and do that. But So for right now, we're just going to make this... Um, well, I don't know exactly what we're going to do yet. I was going to sit... I wanted to kind of take a look in here. Obviously, we're going to push this wall back by one and cover all that up. We're going to be using lime green, snow, and quartz. And I don't know. I, I can make either an item elevator for this um, to kind of send these into a collection area, or I can raise up the entire room and then just have it go down the water stream. So I got a bunch of decisions to make. So... I just wanted to come back and uh, do a little check-in. Like I said, I went to the nether, I got myself clay, or I mean not clay, um, I got myself uh, glowstone as well and a bit more quartz. Uh, you can s see right here, I got myself a little over a stack of glowstone and a little over, or three stacks of quartz ore plus ten, so uh, I need to grab, I need to repair my fortune pick before I can use that. Um, so anyways, what I'm going to do for right now, I'm going to cut out right here 
think about what I want to do in the wheat farm and also since um, I got more quartz, I got the snow and everything like that, I'm going to go ahead and do the changes in my hallway, the room that I already have finished, raised it up that one extra block, put the snow where I wanted the snow, right here, I'll come show you. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to raise the roof, everything up by one block, make these all taller and dig out these hallways a little bit to make them look nicer, dig back that portal and put the frame around the entrance and just kind of get this room all figured or like finished up since I know exactly what I want to do for it put some lighting in the water because these corners need light so I can take these torches out so I got a bit of work to do in this room too and hopefully that'll inspire me to do something in my wheat farm so I got a little bit of uh, thinking to do so I will be back with you guys here pretty soon once I make some progress and hopefully have an idea for what I want to do with the wheat farm so I'll see you guys in a second Hey guys, I am back here with a little bit of a progress update. Hold on, I'm going to move my microphone just a tad. Hopefully that didn't wasn't too loud. I don't know if that's going to affect much. But um, I wanted to have a little bit of a progress update. I haven't finished designing the wheat farm yet. I'm not even actually really that close. I have a general idea of what I want in mind, but I'm having trouble kind of bringing it all together in my head. So, but I do want, I did work on a couple different things, but I, I wanted to come in and say, I don't know how exactly, these guys, I realized my infinite breeder was not working because I didn't have any glass, um, giving access to the door over there, or the doors underneath them. So these guys actually couldn't breed the entire time. I thought it was because I had a villager within the radius down here. Um, the guy, tra the librarian trapped over there, I thought it was because of him, but no, it's because I didn't have any glass in those back corners by where the doors were. So now the infinite breeder is actually working, and I still don't have a priest yet, which is, I really want to get a priest, but uh, it's, it's okay. We'll worry about that later, but I got a few guys in here already, um, I might need to shut off the breeder if they keep breeding like crazy. I think it'll be okay as long as they don't trade with them too much, I shouldn't have a problem. So, it looks like we, I know we have a butcher, we now have an armorer, we now have a leather worker, and that guy's either another butcher or a leather worker, he'll probably end up being killed. Um, but yeah, so, I, I'm an idiot, and I, the thing I'm concerned about is, shut up phone, um, the thing that I'm concerned about is, how did the first two guys end up breeding if there's no access to those doors? I mean, like, I didn't put these guys in there until after I set up the breeders, so... They should never have bred in the first place. That's what I'm kind of confused about. So, anyways, uh, let's go take a look down at what I've actually done so far. So, that's not the right floor. Um, I've added more of these little walkways and everything, and I made everything five blocks tall. As you see, I, can, I kind of pushed up these walls and extended these to make this five wide and five tall. Um, which is kind of odd because it still looks, it should be more squarish, but this is one, two, three, four, five, and this is one, two, three, four, five. This doesn't feel like that much of a square. It feels taller than it is long. But I've got this area cut out so far, and like I said, I have a general idea of what I want to do, but I haven't quite figured out how I want to do the floors or the walling or anything like that. So I haven't quite finished this, but we're going to finish this before the end of the episode. But what I wanted to show you, what I have been working on mostly, is this room right here. And I want to show you something odd before I turn around. Um, I had a little sapling that's been planted in here for quite some time. And shut up, portal. Um, so anyways, I guess this happened after I raised the roof, but it actually grew. And I don't want to really stand on how this happened, but... I guess after I made this, let's see, that's one, two, three, four, five, no, one, two, three, four, five, six tall. So I guess once I made it six tall, it was tall enough to grow, and uh, my sapling grew up into a tree. So I guess I can't use saplings as decoration unless I put some string or something up to kind of block it. But yeah, so I don't want that tree there. That's going to get cut down, and I'm going to do something else in here with that. Um, maybe put another flower or something. I really don't know, but... Um, I added a little more decoration in here. Oh, this this area seems a little empty. I might add some more to that. Um, yeah, this seems a little dull. Come, some of these corners seem a little dull. Actually, this one seems to really be the only popping corner, so there's still a little bit more work to do in here to kind of make this a uh, 
pop a little bit more, add some more color, but I raised the roof up a block and I raised all these up, um, all these little entryways too, and I think it looks much better being one block taller. And I put some glowstone to get some light into those corners, so everything's well lit now, and I could probably take out these torch- oh yeah, I think I took out the torch on this side already. And as you see, we're still at ten, light level 10, so I could probably pop that torch off and be fine too. Maybe throw one a little bit farther back over here. Um, but yeah, this one should be okay as well. Yeah, because of the portals giving it extra light. So yeah, so I've got a bit of work done in here, mostly in this room. And like I said, it's in this room, I've been mostly kind of pre-planning it with the size of the room and everything like that. And I'm going to have this room done here in a little while. I got some ideas. Uh, sorry, a little congested. Um, but yeah, I got some ideas and I'm just kind of working it through in my head. And I'm going to start, actually I think I have a general idea of what I want to do and how I want to do everything now. So I'm going to get to work on that and hopefully when I see you soon um, on the next update, or progress update, we'll see if this room is at least close to being done. So anyways, back to work. I'll see you guys soon. Hey guys, I am back here again with one more quick little progress report uh, update, and I think after the next progress update, it's probably going to be the end of the episode as well, but I've gotten a bit of the room done. As you can see, it didn't turn out nearly as well as the other one, but this is just kind of the preliminary of what I wanted to do. I just wanted to get the main kind of bit of it set up, and then we'll kind of worry about the rest later on, but I've got the... Uh, the harvesting system and well a little bit of a looting system I plan on doing more with this a little later on uh, I'm just not exactly sure what I want to do but anyways um, let's just give this a go real quick since I know I don't have too much time left um, but anyway so we don't have any uh, crops or er, well, any crops down here yet but as you can see there's a uh, water behind this glass and everything right here um, so anyway, it's just pretenders crops. I've already timed it and everything. I've already done the timing on my creative world just to make sure everything's working properly. And I just kind of put some temporary blocks in place just to kind of show you how everything's working. And you'll see these two blocks. I'm not too worried about them, but let's just go ahead and press the uh, harvest button. Oh, so as you see, that comes up so the water doesn't get pushed off the side. Um, these get pulled up, those blocks right there get pulled up, and this is where the ceiling height's going to be. I already have it dug out so I can place a ceiling, but the water comes down for a while, and then uh, after everything's done, by the time all the water dissipates, everything should be in the very, very back. So actually, let's uh, go ahead, let me show you this again. Um, so let's just pretend we have some, some crops and some stuff laying about. So let's go ahead. Ah, oh, no! That's that's the complete opposite of what I wanted. Um, so let's head up here again and not fall. The not falling part is kind of the important one. But so let's press our button again. So you see our water is going to come down, and these ones in the back are going to take a little bit longer to be pushed out, but they will eventually get pushed out. So I had to do it, time it a little bit longer than a dispenser system. Whoops, didn't mean to do that, but. Anyways, um, that one should just get to the end where right that water goes away, just makes it over the edge, and now gets pushed down. So as you see, as, as far as the harvesting system goes, that's all completed, it's all working perfectly fine. So we got ourselves a, a working harvesting system, and then all the items are just going to go into here. As you see, I've been kind of using this as storage for the moment. Um, but yeah, like I said, I still got a little bit more to do. I, I gotta cover this stuff up right here. I'll build a little stairway up, and uh, this will be where it goes in. And I'll move the button out a little bit further. But so yeah, as you see, uh, green's gonna be the main color of this room. And I haven't really gotten into any fine detail or anything yet. And I actually kind of I ran out of room when I had to push these walls back to make this uh, other hallway back here. Hold on, let me run back here. Um, but in order to make this five wide, um, actually this is going to be seven wide, um, I don't want the walls to be green and then this wall will be a different color. So I kind of push everything back again by another block and uh, just so I could decorate the other side, have it too thick so the hallways could have different wall colors and everything. It's not all dependent on 
um, what the previous room or uh, the room on the other side of the wall has to be and that did kind of cut the uh, space that I had for building in here limited but I think we have it perfectly fitting so this is just fine it'll be a little bit cozy a little tight but everything should work out properly so anyways um, I'm not gonna go into some I'm not gonna go into the fine detail in here I think what I'm just gonna do is get the floor finished in here get the ceiling done and get this all kind of cleaned up and then uh, next episode we can kind of go back into the fine details of everything and just kind of get everything all finished up so but I'm glad I got the uh, harvesting system done I got the uh, well I guess it is an automatic looting system but Eventually what I'm going to do is build an item elevator going into here. Um, we'll have the wheat go over the roof and then go into the cow farm at some point. Um, but you'll see all the wheat, it'll travel up through here so you kind of see like a little wheat elevator on the wall. And then it'll go kind of secretly over the top and the seeds will be sorted out beforehand and put somewhere around here for us to just quickly pick up and use again in the farm. So. Anyways, like I said, I'm going to finish cleaning this up around here and uh, I'll come back over and show you guys everything that I did in terms of what I have going right now and we'll end up the episode. So anyways guys, I'm going to just clean up in here and I'll see you in a second. Welcome back everybody. Well, i got to say, um, the room is not 100% finished, but I definitely am. I'm going to have to call it for the uh, episode this time because... Uh, I don't really know what else I can really do at this point. And uh, let's just uh, take a look at what I have done. I mean, I've gotten everything cleaned up and looking pretty nice, but there's always more I can do. And you can see this, it's still pretty plain. So we come in here, it's still a little bit dark, and that's all right. I've already checked all the light levels in here and like anything that was diagonal from any of these glowstones or two blocks away underneath it was too dark. So I added in hidden lighting under that hidden lighting behind that hopper in this chest and hidden lighting under that and it kind of made the room bright enough to uh, not have any spawns in here so that's pretty good I don't have any torches left in here um, got this cleaned up all nice made a little walkway and I want to make a design with the floor I don't want it just to be like bordered like this with these stone slabs I actually kind of want to border it with uh, the uh, quartz not the stone but I haven't quite figured out what I want to do on that aspect yet and I want to incorporate some other colors and other textures into this it's still pretty plain we got these big plain green walls and I'm not quite sure what I can do with them right now so but anyways we got this up here I haven't planted any crops yet but we got our button we press the, this goes up and our harvesting system goes through and in a second it'll go back down hurry up come on oh wow we forgot to I forgot to put in clay for that wall um, that's not gonna be a big deal I'll just go clean that up after uh, I stop recording come on All right, there we go perfect but yeah so it's kinda cool having that waterfall in the back although it's a little tough to see I might actually change this from green glass to something else cuz that water it's kinda hard to notice it Oh, also, if you haven't noticed, I didn't get to finish up on the same day. Um, you don't hear the weird sounds anymore from April Fools. I'm not a villager anymore. We don't have those retarded noises. It's the next morning. I, c I fell asleep. I couldn't figure out any ideas of what I wanted to do and was just getting tired and groggy and ugh. it wasn't it wasn't good. So I took a break for the night and this is how I finished in the morning. Except for that wall right there, it, it's not bad. It's definitely not my best work, but. I still like it, and like I said, it's not done yet. I'm gonna hey, come back here. Like I said, I'm not done yet, so I mean, I'll come back in here, and I gotta clean up this room too. Um, but that's just it's something that's gonna happen in due time, and so I gotta plan out what I want to do for these hallways and all that stuff. So I mean, I got a little bit of work to do, so I'm not really too concerned about that right now. I do want it looking pretty nice, so I might end up cleaning it up a little bit and then adding more depth and detail later. Anyway, so we had a nice little fun distraction, but we got to get back to work on the iron farm. So I think that's what we're going to be doing next episode, is kind of getting to more work on the iron farm. Throughout this entire process, I've been smelting up more stone and everything, getting ready to uh, kind of build the basic uh, structure for that. And then, like I said, uh, after I dig out more clay and everything like that, I'll be able to go back and detail and design and everything like that. So, anyways, we got to get that running soon, because... 
my tools aren't doing very well. Um, I've used up pretty much all my glowstone. And, oh man, th these were just resource sinks. You don't understand how much quartz I've used. Like, uh, and all the redstone too. I had to go and collect more redstone halfway through the project. Like it, this, that was actually a lot more resource um, consuming than I originally planned, or not planned, but thought. So, anyways, guys, that's gonna be it for me, and we'll see you later.